morning. Welcome to this week's vlog. It is Monday, the 29th of April, 69 degrees outside, 6.26 a.m. My glasses are filthy. How are you today? I am doing quite well. Yes, if you're watching last week's vlog and this week's vlog back, back to back, yes, I did close out the vlog in this shirt. I slept in it last night. <laughs> And I'm starting off this morning in it. Um, I'm gonna be going for a run here in just a little bit and then taking a shower, getting dressed and proceeding with my day as this is crunch week. So this week I will end the vlog early. I will probably end it on Thursday of this week. Oh, same with the cooking vlog. Um, I obviously don't know right now because it's in the future, the days that we're gonna go live from Facebook and YouTube because it's so contingent upon the internet, our plans for the day, and our time. Um, so, but we are definitely going live from the ship. And I know there's a big time difference, so we're going to have to kind of play with that a little bit. So, I'm sure we've gone live from the ship, and we still have a few days left of our cruise. So, I'm sure we're still going to go live again. I don't know when. I don't know how. But um, we do have a long wait before our flight. Now our flight's at three something. It's the flight going to, to Seattle. Our flight's at nine something at night, leaving Houston. Whew, we don't get to Seattle till after midnight and we lose three hours. So it's six hours of traveling starting at nine. And for us, so we get there at like three in the morning, our time, but Seattle time it's midnight. And it's like, oh my goodness, we are gonna be zombies. <laughs> No, we won't. We'll be too excited. We won't be that tired. We'll just sleep like a baby the first night. I have a snag of my nail. One second. Anyway, so today, what's on the agenda to wash this hair after I go for my run and edit. I'm going to be editing, answering comments, and responding to messages and emails today um, as quite a few came in over the last few days. And um, so I'm going to try and get to all of those today and uh, prepare more freedom vlogs. I finished Roatan, I mean, excuse me, I began Roatan vlog nine of freedom. I need to finish up Roatan, then we have the last two sea days and disembarkation. So I don't have too much more to go, but I really, really, really want it complete before we go to Alaska. I don't like to have a current cruise vlog series not completed before we go on our next cruise. I really like it complete so I don't miss anything and so that when I get home, I can get the next one going. And I want to get Alaska moving quickly because it is it is Alaska season and I want you guys to have Alaska quickly. So there we go. Okay, I'm yabbering too much. It's seven minutes, I need to be quiet. So don't forget about our Facebook group community. <laughs> Life with Favor community page. It's a group on Facebook and um, please go and join it. Make sure you answer the questions. It's such a great community. I, I am loving it, loving it. Um, I will put the link in the description box and if I remember in the comments as well and um, you can come and join it. So uh, you do have to be approved to be in the group. All you have to do is answer the questions and you will be approved. Um, there are three questions, so answer all three questions. And um, let's see what else. And it may take me, since we're traveling, we do have moderators, but since we're traveling, it could take a little bit of time for us to get back to you and put you in the group. And each post from anybody has to be approved. And that's just because, you know, there are those grumpy people with ill intentions. So we're just avoiding all of that. So there you go um and uh so join that and let's see what else yeah i will make announcements on facebook and all of that tuesday morning it is tuesday the 30th of april 9 53 a.m 79 degrees outside i'm going a little natural today um i'm not feeling the greatest and um I don't want to be sick before Alaska. I don't want to be sick for Alaska, but I think this is just sinuses. I'm not sure, or allergies or whatever, but, um, or stress, who knows, but I'm going to feel better. I'm going to feel better. I am. I just have a bad headache, that's all. Okay, so um, I have my little tennis shoes and my running tennis shoes. Uh, I have both of those and my glasses are filthy. One second, <laughs> can't see a thing. Um, I have those two and I love them. I absolutely love them. Um, well, my running shoes, whatever, but I mean my little tennis shoes, my little white um, 
Cole Haan tennis shoes. Um, I feel like those are going to last me years. Um, the ones I'm wearing now, I've worn for a year now and they still are fabulous. Um, I wipe them down with a wipe. Um, sometimes a Clorox wipe, sometimes a little bit of a bleach cloth. Um, they're leather, maybe that's not good for them, but whatever, it's working so far. Um, but I am loving this trend of the wedge tennis shoe. Now, um, the ones that are on Nordstrom, not Sam Edelman, what brand are they? I, I, I can't remember the brand. I'll put it on the screen here. They're $89 and they're beautiful and they're wonderful and I would love to have them, but um, no. Now, if they get marked down, maybe, but not, not now. Um, so I found some similar. These aren't actually them. Whoops. These are <laughs> some similar from Target. These are actually too big for me, so they're gonna go back. You guys have a big wide foot, but these are too big. Um, so these are going back. But then I found a pair on Amazon um, that are less than these um, that have the look, that have the, they look identical to this. Um, they're just not from Target, because Target actually doesn't have a smaller size than these. But these are wedges, you know, the wedges here, up here and it's hidden in the shoe which is what I like it looks like a booty um, and these are gray or you can get them in like this color um, and they're great for ankle jeans or regular jeans and rolled up or whatever they're just really cute it's a super cute trend um, and I wanted them for Alaska uh, for walking around and everything like that but these just aren't gonna do it for me so they're gonna go back um, and then I saw these, which are not wedges. These are just um, ankle tennis shoes or ankle shoes, but they have the um, platform on them. I didn't, they're clunky, and I just wasn't real comfortable in them. But they are really cute, and these are also too big for me. Um, they're really, really cute, and I think I ordered these in the eight and a half to try. Yes, I did, so they should be here in the next day or two. I just wanted to try them in the smaller size, see if they still felt clunky. Because again, Alaska, I like that they're high top, I can wear them with socks, thicker socks, that kind of thing. I have to worry about no-show socks, all of that. I just thought they were very comfortable. And I like them for the winter. I love my booties, um, and I wear them in the summer too. And this color, or gray, this is like that taupey brown color. Not, not, what, what is, yeah, I, no, yeah. Um, kind of a mushroomy color. Um, great for white jeans or denim. And then the gray is the same. So basically, I'm just looking for one pair. So I've ordered some from Amazon. I've ordered some from Target. Come on, baby. Some from Amazon. I've ordered some from Target um, and uh, to try out. And I think they're just going to have to go back. Uh, whichever one doesn't work, we'll go back. But I'm only keeping one pair. The gray... Uh, wedge is what I'm looking for, or in tan is what I'm looking for, taupe or mushroom color. That's what I'm looking for for now. Um, you know, I don't know. Just, I think it's super cute. It goes with my boots that I picked up for, am for um, uh, winter boots that I picked up for Alaska that I will also be able to wear here, and they're waterproof. So that is the one thing. Blondo does have a pair that are waterproof that I absolutely love, but they don't have my size, and they're really expensive. So, no. <laughs> what is it, guys? What is it? Is there a squirrel out there on Daddy's Pig tormenting you? Is he out there tormenting you? What is he doing to that poor little pig? What is he doing? I think he's cleaning his ear. I don't know. <laughs> well, what is it? No, I am not letting you outside. That poor squirrel. No way. And then you would probably hurt yourself running out there. Mom. Is there something out there? All ready to go. <laughs> what is it? 
Look at the tails. Tails just a wagon. <laughs> Y'all are so funny. You're so funny. Okay, so here's my hair a couple hours later. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think if I had it cut to where it would look good, natural, hold on. Get you out a little bit so it's not as loud. To where it would look good, natural. I don't know. Kind of tame the ends a little bit. I don't. I don't know. We'll see. My ends are rough. I mean, I need to go get my hair cut, but I'm not ready to do that yet. I'll get it done eventually. Um, this shirt is enormous. It's so big now, and uh, I love dogs. <laughs> I don't know. It's comfortable though. Whatever. All right, so I just wanted to pop in and show you this crazy hair. It's not dry. It's by no means is it dry, especially up around my scalp. So I keep getting the chills because my hair's wet. I, I usually dry my hair, you know. Um, anyway, but good morning. It is Wednesday, the 1st of May. I'm literally giddy. The 1st of May, 6.14 a.m., 75 degrees outside. Look at this. Isn't this beautiful? So should I make that our, our um, thumbnail? <laughs> um, so I showed you yesterday, I let my hair go natural. I just kind of wanted to see what it would do and it's not gonna do well. Patty, my stylist, um, she needs, I need to go see her. It's not what she needs to do. I need to go see her and let her kind of put some layers in and then it lays nicely the next day if I just leave it natural, but honestly, I am letting it grow. So we're just gonna let it go, let it grow, and let it do its thing. Um, because uh, I'm really liking the hair dryer from, um, you know, the pink one, Revlon, I think it is. I don't know, InStyler, I think. I don't know what it's called. I really like that. I also like the fact that I can just blow dry and then use my brush flat iron and flat iron my hair. Um, both the, the hair dryer takes a while because I have a lot of hair, but the, um, Insta, the InStyler brush flat iron thing and a quick hair dry doesn't take long at all. I did change my polish yesterday. This is the Passion from OPI. It is super sheer. I wanted something more opaque but pink um, so I'm going to keep looking and those, I think I'm going to hang on to them. They're fine. They're not the best, but they're fine. They're streaky. And that's the one thing I, the Kathleen lights is not streaky. It's a thick, it's a great formula. And now I've been spoiled by that formula and I'm comparing everything to it and you just can't. So, um, the next thing would be Zoya. Zoya's like that but even some colors are still streaky with Zoya so um, I'm gonna hang on to these but I'm gonna continue to look for the color I'm looking for in a Zoya polish so okay I wanted to hop back in real quick and um, show you this I picked up now I like straws I am a straw person hold on let me get this open I am a straw person um, but obviously they're not safe to use you know the plastic disposable ones so I picked these up and look how little they are. They're tiny. So one can go in my bag. These are, I bought these so I could have them on the ship. And it is a silicone straw and it pops out. It comes with a cleaning tool. Each one of the, I bought a four pack and each one of them has a cleaning tool in there, which is really nice. And then here's the straw. Uh, I'm gonna try it out today. Obviously, I'm gonna wash it first. I'm gonna try it out today and see how I like it. Um, you know, I'm not gonna put my mouth on it now and see how I like it, but um, I really appreciate, you know, it's foldable like this. So even if I don't wanna take it in this little case it comes in, which is very convenient and washable, I'm sure. Not in the dishwasher, but you know. Um, I can just throw this right in my purse. Um, so, like I said, I am a straw person, not for hot liquids, but for cold liquids, and um, I just really prefer them. So also, I've added to my Amazon store something I intend to pick up when we get back from Alaska, um, is a 12 pack of the, the cups. You know, my floral one that's from FabFitFun. Uh, Amazon has like a 12 pack of just clear cups with lids like that and I'm going to order several of them. I really like that little cup from 
um, Fat Fit Fun style, and uh, I know my family would enjoy using the same type of thing uh, around the house, so or just even if we leave the house. So I am going to order several of them to uh, likely replace the cups in my home. So there we go. Okay, I just wanna tell you, it's all in the Amazon store. Thank you. And as always, if you click and use the links in, from my Amazon store, I thank you so much. If you click out and go to your page and just use it as a source, that's fine too. I, either way is fine with me. I appreciate you watching. That's what's most important to me. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'm at Old Navy. I'm gonna try these pants on. <sighs> Nothing's spinning, it's driving me crazy. I need some jeans for Alaska. Not too long, which is nice. I guess I could jug in though. I really wanted jeans, not a jug in. Whatever. This will do. I'll do what I gotta do. Okay, I'm home in comfortable clothes again. Um, I just wanted to show you real quick what I got. So when we went to Target, I didn't show you that. I had to return those shoes, and then I picked this up for the cruise, um, thanks to our friend Carl. Um, yeah, they're fine. Thanks to our friend, my friend Carl. Um, so I would have something to eat. He found them for me because I'd been looking for them. Okay, so um, Old Navy. This little $7 t-shirt I just thought was cute for the cruise, obviously. Um, it has the little anchors on it. Um, and it's a, it's a small, which surprised me that it fit me. Um, it was so cute. It's a little sheer, but that's all right. I wanted it for this cruise because I'll be wearing it underneath like a wobbly or a sweater or something like that. And then here are the jeans. They're the Rockstar High Waisted Super Skinny. I don't like Super Skinny, but that's all they had. 24-7 um, Sculpt. Okay, sorry. Um, and then, uh, anyway, they're just a dark wash, sort of. It's a brighter blue, but that's fine. With the full ankle, or full length jean, there's the blue ones, and then the white ones with no distressing and I think I get the last pair in the entire store and uh, her name was D and she was very kind and she helped me find them um, they're a little long in the ankle but that's fine I, I both of them I think they're kind of cute like that sort of gathered at the ankle and I feel like they'll shrink when I wash them so 
that's fine. But my favorite jeans are these. These were $24.99 from The Loft. Modern skinny, slim through the hip and thigh, and skinny leg. These, this one, I don't, whatever. Come on. Those fit me well. And look at the trim, the ankle. Oh, it's so cute. Nice little detail at the ankle. I love that. Um, fun, different, and they were marked down. Fine with me. So, um, anyway, just cute. I just really liked them. So, I'm good. I have three pair of jeans for 10 days in Alaska. I am good. I'm gonna wear the locked ones to Seattle. No, I'll probably wear my crop jeans to Seattle just because it's not cold and I love them. My white crops from the loft, I'll probably wear that because I want to be very comfortable on the on the plane. I mean, we arrive at midnight, nobody's really gonna see me. So, um, there you go. All right, so that's everything from today. So, I'm gonna go ahead and close out the vlog. I know it's only Wednesday, but I need to have time to get this edited and uploaded. And tomorrow, I was gonna do it today, I ran out of time, but tomorrow I'm gonna film the packing video, so that'll be up. You will have already seen that, I believe, I think. Um, but all I'm gonna be doing is packing and editing and all of that stuff and getting us ready to go so that um, Saturday afternoon we can head on out to the airport. So I'm just, I'm so excited. So the next time you see me, um, well, no, that's not accurate. The next vlog will be the sneak peek for Alaska. So that should be a really good video. So I'm just, I am so excited, so excited, so excited. Okay, if you're new, welcome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you joining us. I hope you'll subscribe. I hope you'll stick around. And thank you to those who watch us all the time, who watch everything or just our cruise vlogs, our weekly vlogs, cooking vlogs, whatever. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in Alaska. Bye.